in the next five minutes, you will know how to do a burst fade. Let's get it. When doing a burst fade, you have to make sure that the top is even to the back. I'm coming in with the five guard and taking the top down. As you can see that now the length is matching the length of the back. I'm going to take long strokes. See here, I'm cutting, there's nothing cutting. So the five guard right here is the best guard we can use. Now I'm going to come in with my next step to start this burst fade. I'm going to go and close with my clipper. Start right around just under that vertical bar going to make a straight line then creating another guideline down here i'm going to connect them two right we create a straight line straight line now we're going to connect it that will be my first guideline and boom i got my one guard i'm going to slap that on open create my second guideline making it quite quite thick and i'm going above his vertical box so i've created my first strip create my another strip down here i'm going to connect them now and as you can see his hair at the back is a lot thicker than the hair on the side so we've got to keep that in mind my next step is i'm going to freehand this this is going to be a higher burst fade because he has a buzz cut so boom it is already fading in right doing the same thing to the back and stiff handing it this technique is called stiff handing freestyle my next step is with my two guard come in open take that bulk that you see there for rider ridge carries more weight because all the hairs just flowing and laying on top of itself so we're going to use our corners to take off those spots that you see right there boom boom now i'm going to close this guard boom to take off any more lines that we see moving along to the back as well doing the same thing opening it with the two guard coming in now closing it to blend it even more and most clients have thicker hair at the back so we always want to tailor it to how our client's head is moving on to my next step for this v burst fade i'm going to do a liner starting it right there because that's where the hair starts to fray all off and then continuing that same line to the middle point of his head because he has so much overgrowth we have to push this line back to create that shape that we want so i'm going to take out all this bulk He's a, he has a lot of neck hair so we want to clean it up without bringing it up too high this is the most optimal because this part is very very light but here's very thick if we take it too low this point will not be sharp at all to do his front lineup i'm going to get rid of the shelf that he has and all this bulk i'm going to come in with my comb he has more bulk up here and here so that's why this is a great tool to use to manipulate what we want to take off. He has a calic actually going this way, that way. So we want to take off where the dark spots are. When we solve the client's problem like this, the client sees the slight of difference. He doesn't know what it is. This is where the barber's job is, solving your client's problem. Anytime you solve anyone's problem in any industry, that's where you'll succeed. After I've done that, I'm going to use my little bit of alcohol on this and this will allow us to have a crispy lineup. Some people would neglect this. Spray a little bit of holding spray. This will lock everything in place. Using our trimmer to come in and line up. I'm gonna start at his front lineup. He has a huge overgrowth over here and here because he has a cow. And then continue that same line all across to the other side. I'm going to line up the vertical bars first. Right about there is where his natural line is. Right there is where we'll stop connecting that to our vertical bar, meeting it at a right angle crossed. Now I'm going to come in with my second last step. Open, coming up a centimeter above that line. Across the whole way, once I've got my first pass through, I'm going to actually leave this dark, just touching it barely. Then I'm going to freehand this by scooping out and doing a rough blend. As you can see, that line is slowly going out, but still there for enough for us to detail it. I'm gonna do the same for the back as well. I'm using my corners here, and I'm angling out here to create this gradual transition into the back. Once I've done that, I'm gonna move to my next guide, which is taking out that line with a half guard and going open, close it a little bit, taking out that line. Here, I am trying to blend it in into that top because this is the highest and longest lever. Now we're going to actually close it one, two, tack all those dark spots that we see. Boom, I see some here. Because his hair at the back is a lot thicker, we want to really focus on the back to make it match here to here. 
And now I'm going to close the lever fully to take out any remainders of dark spots we see. I'm gonna move on to my next step now. Last step coming in closed and taking out this last guideline, scooping out at this line. And as you can see, it's coming off like butter. Remember that at the back here is a lot more thicker. So we're going to attack it even harder and go up even a bit higher as well, right? Because it's thick, it creates the illusion that it's the same as this side. Open it, one, two blend it into that. I'm going to open it even more, blending it in. At some areas of the head, you require more work. Finishing off with some last minute details. And then, just like that, we are done. That was the burst fade tutorial. If you guys want gems like this and more videos like this, let me know down below. Peace.